Good day to you guys. This is Rewell from Re Reviews, bringing you another review of What If Infinity Ultron, a diecast figure, a figure that I've always wanted even before I started collecting. When I first saw him, I didn't know that he was from the What If show, <laughs> so I was really clueless about him. But he has that factor he has that form presence factor look at that that's the most evil guy you've ever seen and in this like colorful foiled box so that is pretty cool man the box is cool it has that feel it gives me that excitement and it's also one of the last figures i have here so after this i won't be unboxing for a while but you know this figure sort of marks the end of my collecting journey <laughs> start of the end I mean so let us see what's inside okay I like it that you just slip it out as all as with all modern die cast figures that's how you do it so this is how die cast figures usually look and right off the bat we can't see anything <laughs> but wow i am loving it man it is like ultron evil ultron ultron when he got vision's body man so let's take off all the crap and see the figure for what it is because the first tray is rather light okay and we are back so this is what the first tray looks like it's headpiece and two a couple of articulated hands so very light first tray as you know it's not really rare for die cast figures but before i go on i got this from carlo wong because he's one of the fastest guys who can bring hot toys to the philippines without the dhl tax man so i got this for 23,000 pesos dollar equivalent will be posted and it's quite expensive but then again this is like the ultimate bad guy man aside from thanos this is the ultimate bad guy and what can i say man it looks freaking amazing okay so there are some pictures where i saw where his chest is relatively really small to his legs but i think it's more of the phot photographer because of course i mean it is still small man it is still small compared to the rest of its body but it isn't that small so the design is inspired by what if which is cartoony you know it's a it's a it's an animated series so the proportions are not as realistic not something like thanos which i would compare later so let's put in his very cool headpiece and yeah it looks bad without the lights on <laughs> so this basically needs the light on for it to to have the actual cool factor so i'm also having a hard time standing it up okay Maybe it's just the angle that I want because I'm trying to look for a pose where his legs won't look as small. So I, I'm trying to do my best to look at that. It feels great on hand. I love the texture. I love the cold metal Ultron vision thing. So that, that is really cool. Sorry about the camera. It's, I'm looking for an angle where it would... <laughs> It would look good, man. So first impressions of it is already very pa positive. I love it, man. I love, I love this depiction of the ultimate Ultron, Infinity Ultron, where he got Vision's body and he got the Infinity, Infinity Stones. So this is the Ultron that won. So okay, I'll try to use more lights yeah so this look would really not work without the lights on it kind of looks dead and it's from afar it just looks like a, a plain like face mask without anything without the eyes on so let's check out the second tray okay so the second tray is where it's really happening uh it's so glossy man this stand base stand is so glossy it reflects the light it reflects every light here man so i'm sorry about that i'm doing my best <laughs> okay so 
I love the bass man let's talk about the bass because it's usually one of my favorite parts I like it that it's Ultron and it's what if and it's glossy and the same at the same time it's textured so it's really cool uh, rather sort of a, a boring font but I wish this was metal to really really drive the, the die cast metal home and another cool thing about this is that it is a crotch grabber <laughs> and, and, a, and a waist clamp at the same time so really really weird design choice here <laughs> I don't know how it would work because the usual problem for people is that this waist clamp would damage the figure so they would rather just have this crotch stand so having this crotch stand along with this waist grabber would just make the crotch stand uh, redundant because there's no way you can bypass the waist grabber so if only it was possible to bypass it man it would have been cool but nope okay so other accessories are its lance. It looks metallic and all very well painted, but this is plastic, man. It's a very good paint job, which is cool because you don't want these things to be die cast. Because if they were, it would be so heavy to carry. So easy to assemble the badass lance. So cool, man. Really, really cool. And of course, its cape. And one you would clip on its back to attach the cape because it turns out this one has holes in it so this is like an incomplete version you still have to stick the cape which we would do so I've attached everything I've put it on his stand so the thing is this actually is very heavy man this is heavy and for some reason the joints already have you know are not <laughs> acting the way they're supposed to be so it's some QC issues here, man. See, okay, I'm glad it held its pose, but I don't think it's gonna last for a while. It's gonna, it's gonna fall back because the joints are not as solid. So the cape attachment is really cool and it, it's extra secure with the back piece because you slip in on these holes here apart from locking it uh, on this part here. There are pegs here so you know i didn't even look at the instruction ma manual so this is a very set and forget thing and of course it's a good thing that this figure is very tall because it avoids the dreaded cape hump so i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this clamp on him but it looks like i might not so of course, uh, posing and articulation for this guy is very limited because this is a big bad guy. And you know the thing with big bad guys is that they're not gonna pose around the place, man. They're just usually there for the museum pose and stuff. <laughs> so surprisingly, I have very little things to say about this figure. Let's put this mask on even if it looks bad. Because it is what it is, man. I mean, I love it. I mean, it, it has that Thanos effect for me. Although, I can still say that Thanos is generally still a, a better figure. So, there's that. I'm so, the attachment for the helmet is also not very secure. It could have been more secure, but feels scary and loose, man. So, I wouldn't be moving it confidently with his with his faceplate on okay so let's put Thanos here and stand them side by side okay so sadly my table can't fit all both of them <laughs> standing side by side so I'm sorry about that I never knew that these figures took up this much space man you know big bad guys and the space they take so <sighs> I know this looks bad but just for comparison's sake, uh, Thanos is taller and admittedly, even though Thanos is my first Hot Toys figure and he's older now, he still has much more presence than this Ultron. <laughs> I'll say it right off the bat. Maybe it's because the design, Thanos is more realistic while uh, Ultron really was sort of CGI. Uh, his sort of, I mean, not CGI, but rather in an animated outing. So, Thanos still wins if you're 
if I were gonna choose if I can only have one of them, I'm definitely gonna pick Thanos over him. So I'm sorry that it just doesn't, you know, it's not a very good look because my, my table can't fit them really. <laughs> so having said that, this is Infinity Ultron. Very light figure, it is what it is. I mean, if you can get it discounted or in a second hand, get it. I won't recommend it at the price I got it for. It is just too expensive for what it is. But other than that, if you can get it cheaper, like maybe uh, 15,000 or lower, like lower honestly, I'd get this for 12,000 man. Don't be in a rush to get this. This is not gonna sell out fast. It's not a chase figure. It's not really, you know, it's not like Thanos. Although Thanos is still not a chase figure and you can get him for around 10 to 12,000, I guess. <laughs> so there's that. Just to give you an idea, uh, help you make better purchasing decisions. So I hope you learned something and have a nice day.